Boost Charger is a battery integrated ultra fast charger. It's capable of discharging 120 kilowatts into one vehicle, or it can charge two cars at up to 60 kilowatts each simultaneously. Today we're going to show you the basics of how to use it. The Boost Charger is a dual charging station, which means that it has two plugs for each Boost Charger. Teslas have their own proprietary connector. However, Tesla drivers can charge using a Boost Charger if they bring their own Chatamo adapter. At any time, you can tap help from the home screen on the Boost Charger to see a helpful guide that shows you which types of vehicles use which connector. The Boost Charger is intuitive and very easy to use. The first thing you'll want to do is park your car next to the port which you need to use. Then you'll want to go ahead and open the EV's charge port. Use the Boost Charger's touchscreen to begin charging. Select the port that corresponds to the plug you wish to use. Complete the payment prompts using a credit card or RFID. And you can start, or you can start charging with a network app on your phone. When prompted on the screen, take the plug out of the connector and insert it into the vehicle. Once the connector is fully inserted into the vehicle, charging will start automatically. While a charging session is in process, the touchscreen will display relevant information about the charging session. It'll also indicate if the other plug is available to start a session. If another driver arrives and wishes to start a charge and that side is green, they can go ahead and get started. Alternatively, if one vehicle is charging at 60 kilowatts or more, the other plug will be unavailable for use. This will be indicated by red lights on the side. During a charging session, we'll display information on the screen about the session itself, such as how many kilowatt hours have been dispensed, the kilowatts that you're charging at instantaneously, how long, and the cost for the session. Notice the LED lights on the side of the boost charger. While a charging session is in process, the bottom lights will blink green, and the top half will fill up like a thermometer, which indicates how full the vehicle's battery is. The more full the green bar on the top, the more full your vehicle is. The LED lights are a very helpful way to see from a distance exactly what's happening with the charger and see how charged your vehicle is. When an EV reaches 80% or 50% for some vehicles, it may reduce the rate at which it charges. If you notice that a vehicle has reduced its rate of charge during a charging session, this is most likely due to the vehicle electing to reduce the rate of charge to protect its own internal battery's state of health and longevity. Whenever you're ready to stop charging, just hit the stop button on the screen. You'll need to wait a moment for the charging session to finish. Once it's finished, remove the plug from the vehicle and replace it to the holster on the boost charger. Also note that some vehicles do require that you unlock the vehicle in order to remove the charger from the vehicle. You'll be able to see on the screen the summary of your charging session. You can always hit exit to go back to the home screen or it'll reset itself after a few minutes. That's it. It's as easy as pay, plug, and go. The boost charger delivers ultra fast charging with minimal impact on the grid. It's easy to use and simple to maintain. For more information or to ask any questions, please find us at freewiretech.com.